Hi. I'm Mia from Mia Hess Music on YouTube. I'm Spousal Unit. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. <laughs> it's day 16 of Scotchmas. Of Scotchmas. Scotchmas. Sc what the heck? <laughs> Slangeva. <laughs> Well, my friends, <laughs> that was Mia and Marty. Now, I think they dipped into the scotch a bit while they were doing it. They sent us 10 minutes worth of material. Yes, they did. Which and they I'll, did nothing but laugh. I was going to say, and they were having a darn good time were, for the whole 10 minutes. I did. Please, Marty, Mia, I did my best to edit it to where we could use it in, in the clip. But thank you, thank you, thank you for doing that. We appreciate that. Mia has her own um, uh, YouTube channel. I'll put that down here. And also, Mia was in the movie uh, Christmas Story. She was in one of the opening scenes uh, yeah. with the folks looking in the window. And, and I, hope, I hope I have a picture and I would have inserted it. You would have seen it. But uh, Mia, Mia and I worked together for many, many years. She's a great singer, great entertainer. Uh, just can't handle her booze, that's all. <laughs> and Mia and Marty are great people. They are. Oh, Best unbelievable of people. Best of friends. Yes, we just love them. All right, breaking news in Las Vegas. I suppose a lot of you have already heard that they yeah. sold the Mirage. Oh, yes. my goodness. Mixed feelings about this. A little bit because the rumor has it they're, they're going to get rid of the volcano. So I don't know if that's true. But it, The I, new it, owner is the Hard Rock, and we're big Hard Rock fans, definitely. Right. But yeah. from what we saw uh, of the artist rendering, it's going to be a big guitar in the front, and I think you might even get a room in it. But the, 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 there's going to be lights as the strings. And the lights are going to go up, like you know, like the uh, the light at the Luxor. They're going to go up into the sky, so it'll be like six strings going into heaven. It's the artist rendering is just amazing. And it's a guitar, so Dale's jazz. Oh, I am jazzed. It's just <laughs> amazing. I tell you, I can't believe it. Guess what? Las Vegas gets the Super Bowl in 2024. We are jazzed this about is this. is the biggest this news. This is big. You have no idea how big this news That's is. That's three springs from now. Yeah. <laughs> and the day that we filmed this, which is a Thursday, uh, you're going to see this tomorrow, there is no more McCarran Airport. I'm sorry to say, McCarran Airport is gone, folks. It's now called Harry Reid. The Harry Reid Airport. So it may throw you when you're making yeah. uh, your travel plans, but it's going to land you in Las Vegas. Yeah, it'll right get place. you to Las Vegas. <laughs> it's just no longer going to be McCarran Airport. Uh, Harry Reid uh, was a senator here for a long time here in Las Vegas, and he also worked on the gaming board, I think. He did, yeah, before so. he was a senator, yep. Oh, okay, and one more thing that I'm just thrilled about. Wayne Newton is coming back to Vegas, my friends, and he's going to be at Caesars Palace. He's going to have limited runs. I think there's going to be like four dates, and it's either January or February, and you better check that out, how they're going to do that. But uh, uh, apparently, he had a fall or something in Montana on his ranch and hurt his back. Uh, that's oh, what I did I, not Yeah, notice. that's what I read. But So I think he's feeling a lot better, and he's coming back with his show. And in fact... He just, I think he did it, he premiered it in Ohio just this over the past weekend. Oh, you know more than so I, I do about that. Well, I don't know too much about it, but yeah. I, I do know that. All right, that's the news of the day. Thank you very much. Uh, and now, Paula, we'll give you the weather. <laughs> <laughs> no, I am no weather girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's, it's time to open. Day 16 Day is 16. yours. You oh, it's me. Oh, yeah, okay, you do the evens. Yeah, you do the evens. I do the odds. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. That's wrong. Yeah, no. I, I yeah. It's my turn. Yeah. It's my I'll turn. hold it for you. I, I got to do something. We're getting kerflimped by day 16. <laughs> did you perforate, my dear? Oh, you did. Look at this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one's too easy. Oh, my gosh. All right. Highland Park, 12-year-old Viking honor. I'm done. See you later. I'm not sharing. I absolutely love, love, love Highland Park Viking honor. Viking this honor. This is from Orkney in the far north of Scotland. Um, this is just a wonderful storied whiskey. This is delicious. All right. Paul is going to look it up and give you the, all the particulars on it. It's 40% vo by volume. Uh, so that makes it 80 proof. 80 proof. See, that one I can figure well out. Done. 40 and 40, 8 and 8, yeah. Uh, so she's going to do that. But while, we're, uh, while we're, uh, she's doing that, we're going to give you a very long segment 
and I apologize if if, uh, if if you get bored during this one, but it's a very long segment on uh, uh, the uh, the gift halls of all the things you folks have given us in the last since when? Like six months or so six months, since yeah. the last time we did. Yeah, this. we do about them about every six months, but it's it's a big one, and uh, we're going to show that to you right now. For today's B-roll segment, we thought we'd do something fun that we haven't done actually in six months or more. Let's do a P.O. Box haul as well as some hand-delivered things that we recently got where people literally brought them right to us. This could take hours. Well, we'll try to, we'll try to <laughs> cut it down so it doesn't. <laughs> Let's start off with the liquor gifts first. Okay. This lovely set is from Eve in Wales, and it has vodka, whiskey, gin, and a liqueur. And Eve, we haven't touched it yet, just because we had so much else in the house, but I'm kind of excited about a Welsh whiskey. What do you think? Sounds good. Sounds like a winner to me. This one's really cool. This is called the Classic Malts. It came from Selkie in Germany, and Selkie, we already drank two of the three bottles. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe Scotch single malts from someone in Germany all the way to Las Vegas? <laughs> Unbelievable. All right. It's awesome. This one here is almost done. Well, here's the story on this. For our 40th anniversary, George and Dea from the Middle East sent us a gift card to Total Wine and More and specifically said, how about we do the Ruby Cask Famous Grouse because it was our Ruby anniversary. You guys, this is our third bottle of the famous Grouse Ruby Cask. It's not cask. that we, we don't drink a lot here. But. No, we love it. It's amazingly good. All right. Well. This is cool. This we just got from Rick and Nova from California literally like a month ago. Empress Gin. You know, after Scotchmas, we'll have to do a little gin uh, gin and tonic or some Well, that's after we cocktail. go to rehab. Go to, well, yeah, yeah, after we have. But how beautiful is this bottle of Empress Gin? And it has a great story. So we'll come back to that sometime. And these two go together, don't they? Or no? They're from different people, but yeah, it's okay. Together. We'll talk about them together. So we just received these literally within a week of each other or so. The 10-year-old Lagavulin is from Tracy and John McKenzie, our cousins in Edinburgh. And the 16-year-old is from Lucy from England that we just met last week. Wow. Merry Christmas to us. Thank you so smoky, much. Smoky, smoky Lagavulin. Oh, my gosh. This never ends. Okay. Well, this has a wonderful story. This is a beautiful artisan tequila from Ronit and Gabriel in Mexico City. They came to town uh, at the end of November and hand-delivered this gorgeous bottle. We haven't opened this yet either. We'll have to do a tasting of that. This is kind of cool right here. We just got this, this the other day. This is very cool. These are ornaments filled with gin. Or, as you say in the UK, baubles. 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 <laughs> And those are from our friends from day 15, the Fennies. We have six gin-filled baubles. <laughs> is, that, is that? We really need to have a party. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe the liquor. How are we going to ever go? Th yeah, we got to have a party because you and I just can't drink this stuff, Paula. And this, this is, I don't know what to say about this. It's just an empty bottle. Tell them the story, Paula. So, yes, there's no liquor in this Maker's Mark bottle, but through our... Through our vlog, we've gotten to know a wonderful gentleman named Russell, originally from Texas, and he has spent his life being a butler, including the butler to T. Boone Pickens, the very famous millionaire from Texas, and this bottle is actually personalized for Mr. Pickens, and Russell wanted us to have it. We are so honored. So honored, honestly. Uh, I, 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 feel, I feel guilty having it, but uh, thank you so much, We treasure Russell. it. Thank yes. you so much. So, I think that's it. Done on the liquors. Moving on. We are so blessed. Let's talk about all the amazing food and kitchen items. That Holy you, mackerel. That you have gifted us just in the past six months. I kid you not. First up. Vicki and Dave in California sent Durango Dale his first little piece of fan gifts, these adorable pie magnets. 
<laughs> Love them. Lauren in Louisiana sent her very favorite strawberry vanilla jam to put on our English muffins on the weekends. That is like dessert. It's amazing. Uh, we got these amazing New Orleans pralines from Rick and Nova when they went to New Orleans during Halloween. We got Ohio Buckeyes. Oh my gosh, love those. From these. Andy and Megan. <laughs> Wait a minute. I just want to show you. Go ahead, show them. We just got this. <laughs> yeah, uh, Thanksgiving weekend. Um, there's one left. There's one left. We're fighting over it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever have Buckeyes? They're amazing. They're amazing. Okay. But and the, this two here. <laughs> we're, we're set because Keith and Ann up in upstate New York sent us three boxes of Buffalo's Best Fudge and Candies. These are so good. This is just one. And we just got those. Yeah. We just got, we didn't eat all three. We're this enjoying is just one those. Box. All right. Oh, and this. Oh, and my goodness. Nick from New Jersey. Again, nothing in here. <laughs> sent us real salt water taffy from the Atlantic coast. Amazing. Awesome. Amazing. Awesome. 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 All right. All right. Let's do so some of also, this here first. Yeah, also in the kitchen category, Eve that sent us the whiskeys from Wales also sent this amazing little tea towel. I love it. It's got recipes on it. And Thomas from Danish Las Vegas Tips and Tricks website sent us a Danish cookbook, which I haven't had a chance to make anything on Paula's Kitchen, but I'll do it in the next season, Thomas, I promise. And then Tracy and Don McKenzie gifted us a million things, including some wonderful British chocolates and candies. We love British chocolates. We said surprise us, and they did. And we just got some more of these. Uh, uh, from Lucy and also from the Fennies. So the we Fennies. have a huge pile oh. of randoms. We'll show you a picture. <laughs> And that's it for food, right? That's it for food. All right. Well, during the food segment, we forgot a couple of things because we ate them. We have no evidence of them <laughs> except no evidence. the photo. Buster sent us Marion Berry pie from oh, Oregon that was to die for. I'm not for. kidding you. Oh my, and Durango wasn't even around. We ate the Marion yeah. Berry. Um, we also got some wonderful Knott's Berry Farm goodies from our friends, the Tuckers in California, long gone. Uh, we got bakery <laughs> and sweets from Selkie in Germany in addition to the whiskey. And we also got Mally's chocolates from Jerry and Holly in Cleveland. Wow. All right. Let's, All long gone. <laughs> let's move on. All right, we'll call this segment home and gifts and gadgets and things like that. First up, Dave from Oklahoma drove over here, went through New Mexico. Look at that haul. We're gonna show you a picture, all the things Dave brought us. This is just one sample of some of the art he brought us. And these are called a barite rose. We'll show you a close up of them. It's a rock formation that looks like a rose. He brought us two of those and so many other things, food items artsy items, all kinds of cool stuff. Thank you so much, Dave. All right, this, um, this, this, poor, this poor ornament has such a long story. She's Waterford Crystal. Yes, and it's just gorgeous. It came from Mark and Patty, and actually it came twice because it went to our P.O. box, got lost. I think somebody took it. <laughs> no, we found it eventually. Oh, we did? So okay. they sent us another one, God bless them, and then the first one turned up, and they said, gift it to our son and daughter-in-law and the baby, so oh, we what did. What nice people. Mark and Patty. You have you a picture of You guys are adorable. To put on uh, I do. Yeah, okay. And while we're at it, Mark and Patty also gifted us a beautiful ruby necklace for our ruby anniversary. You are too Do these kind. all go together here, or? No, everything's different. Okay. That little pile is one, so grab this one, that. This yeah. one? Okay. Yeah, so this is Tracy from the UK. She sent us London goodies recently. She sent us some magnets and other keepsakes and a beautiful calendar. Thank you so much, Tracy. I claim the calendar. Beautiful stuff. These we, these were on our fridge. Yeah, they, they're going we back We took them off fridge. for here. <laughs> these. All right. These are for Mikey. They're from Penny and Rob in Canada. They are handmade from lamb's wool, and it's a traditional gift that they always give new babies. We haven't given them to Mikey yet because she's not yet walking. We're going to hold off till she's ready for them. And the but how wonderful this are is these. leather. Yes. Yeah. Leather. Absolutely wonderful. Awesome. This is the biggest Christmas card you're ever going to see. And it's the second year we got it. It's yep. from Ben in the UK. Is that gorgeous or what? We love it. <laughs> oh, we have two of these now. All right. Let me just, I got to get up yeah, and get this grab stuff. grab that pile. Okay. 
and we'll call this the nostalgia pile. People are getting to know that Dale loves anything vintage, so these are Thanksgiving gifts from the Tuckers. <laughs> they have a great sense of humor. I love that first one, the burlesque one. Yeah, these are these are songs you <laughs> can strip to. All those bump and grind songs. <laughs> this is My Rifle, My Pony and Me, <laughs> movie and TV soundtrack. Things you all know. And songs from the saddle, folks. Old Faithful. Thank you so much to the Tuckers for that. So many other things are, from them These as are well. really good, too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this we talked about. In Day 13. In Day 13. In Scotchmas. Yep. This came from our good friend Bob Carroll. And along with that, oh my gosh, this is another amazing gift. We met a longtime fan, Cindy from Maryland, met her earlier this week, and she had say, she said she paid attention, saw that Dale loves paper, and so she gave us some programs and this wonderful, wonderful book. Yes, this is from the Circus Maxima uh, showroom. This Which is their, we don't even have anymore. Yeah, <laughs> this Caesars. is this is their. Uh, uh, it's a program for Kenny Loggins. Yeah, I, I didn't know it and was it's signed. Autographed. It's autographed. Yeah. Oh my gosh, and this is priceless to me because. I saw the very first effects show in town, and it starred Michael Crawford. And then we went back as a family and saw effects with David Cassidy. Yes. And this, that show was so good. It was. I don't incredible. know why they took it took it down. It was just so good. It was incredible. Yeah, just loved it. So then there's other things that we didn't that we don't have in front of us. But let me just mention, um, Jason and Chelsea sent us an amazing gimbal mount for the iPhone uh, made by D. DJI, which we just love, that has a gimbal on it so we can walk and show them smooth. Picture, yeah, that. we'll show you a picture. Um, Rita from Florida took pity on me when I was out there in 117 degrees and she sent me a neck fan <laughs> that keeps me cool when I'm and on the Honestly, strip. <laughs> I, I thought, no, there's no way this is going to work. It works. It you works. plug it into a USB port yep, to charge it. To charge it, it up. It's anyway, amazing. Technology. We love it. <laughs> um, all right. I think that's about it for, uh, except for this last. I got this. I got this in the mail. It came with... Um, uh, it's on the couch. It's on the couch. It yeah. came with that the Afghan. Are you going to tell them about that too? Yeah. Kathleen in Pennsylvania, who is the absolute craftiest woman I've ever not met, <laughs> um, has, pays attention and watches us, and she knitted us a couch throw that is a perfect match for that couch. We'll Just show gorgeous. you a close-up of it. But on top of that, when it came in the box, this was for, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get very emotional, for the cowboy grandpa, she called her, called yeah, me. Their, her granddaughter, Bryn, made us a Christmas card. <laughs> and so this is, this is on my fridge, and it's been on my fridge since I got it. So... so. Can I just say, folks, that thank you, thank you for doing all this for us. There's no reason for you to do it, and we, uh, but we appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts. And this we is, want you to know. Yeah, we wanted we you to know. That's yeah. why we wanted to show everything, uh, even the stuff that we ate. We <laughs> <laughs> and I'll just throw out some thank yous for the gift cards as well. We got restaurant gift cards from Rita and Jay and Joey and Cindy and Tony and as well as MGM gift cards that we have yet to use yet from use, yeah. Stephen and Sheila and also from Tony. And very cool, a couple of you sent us cash out vouchers that you didn't have a chance to cash out and you sent them anytime you, you like want to you don't cash out just <laughs> send them our way <laughs> terry from north dakota thank you thank you so much you guys are just so generous and wonderful so. all right let's get back to tasting some scotch well, we know that was long, but we didn't want to leave anybody out. And if we did leave you out, it certainly wasn't intentional. We want you to know how grateful we are. Yes, we. You don't have to send us anything. Nope. We just we feel the love from you folks just by you your comments and you watching our videos, and we so so do appreciate it. All right, Paula, what did you find out about Highland Park twelve year old Viking honor? Besides the fact that I already love it, I didn't know too much about it. So this has the distinction of being the northernmost uh, whiskey distillery in Scotland, the island of Orkney, which is way, way up north. Um, and that's what makes it special. They use water from Caddy Maggie Spring, and they say that the water certainly has a lot to do with it, as well as peat smoke. Um, this distillery has been in operation since 1798, and they're very, very proud of their wild harmony of flavors. 
A fun fact, much of their single malt is sent to famous grouse to be put in the blends. Get out. So you're actually drinking a lot of Highland Park when you're drinking famous grouse. I didn't know that. So let's see what we got in the nose. We already know we like this, so. We are, oh yeah. yeah. I remember having it at Resorts World. This stuff is not cheap too easy. It's quite expensive, yeah. 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 So the nose is floral, grass, and citrus. And I get that, yeah. Just amazing. <laughs> Just amazing. You know what? I can feel grass. You can taste the grasses. I, I don't know. Is that, does that make sense? It's an island whiskey. Yeah. So those island whiskeys just have a different character, they don't do. they? They total, do. Total different taste. Now, they, they say in the description that it's sun-kissed oranges on fruitcake, cinnamon, nutmeg, and cloves with a little bit of healthy peat smoke. I definitely get the peat smoke. I could, well, maybe that's what I was tasting, Heat the peat. It's, yeah. just, it's just wonderful. But it goes down really it's smooth. Just I, wonderful. I love the Viking Honor. Absolutely. This is, a, this is a favorite. Yep. Well, this was a long one. Thank you for sticking with us. But guess what? Day 16, done. 